Hello everybody and welcome back to RuneScape. This is episode 76 of this Let's Play series and in this episode we will be finishing up the evil RuneScape road trip and also doing some daily challenges, just not these two. Start things off, we will get the daily treasure. Maybe we'll get something good, maybe we'll get some crappy stuff for the cloak of seasons, I don't know. No way we're getting that. I have to spend my life on RuneScape to get that. Uh, okay. Yeah. 600 to create a cloak of summer. And how long does this last? I don't even know. Cash out. And a medium fallen star. Why did I have three? I don't know. I guess from turning something in. I forgot to use it. Anyway, I guess we will plop this into prayer as usual. Should be getting a prayer level today. Start things off, we will do a daily challenge or two. Not going to do that one. Catch copper long tails. Which ones are the copper long tails? That is the question. Uh, traps. Those are the ones that are in uh, some place. Yep, some place is where they are. That I can't think of the name. Today's going well, obviously. Um, bird snare. Where is that freaking bird snare? There we go. I think it must be the one up here. Eagle's Peak. So this may or may not be a long episode, depending on how the stuff goes, because for one thing, I don't know how long heist games last. I'm assuming at least 10 minutes, maybe 20, hopefully not 30. I would imagine that would be pretty bad. But who knows, we'll find out when that, when that happens. Uh, today, I'm probably going to try to get a treasure trail by pickpotting pickpocketing hams if we can do that I think we can but that could potentially take a very long time especially at our current thieving level so I might have to do a little time warping in the editing so we'll see how that goes but I just realized my graphic settings are probably most definitely incorrect so let me just fix that real quick I crashed the game okay Okay, so that was a bit annoying. I had to restart my entire computer just to get it to switch the graphics without crashing. I don't know what that was about. But anyway, so here we are where these, the uh, whatever these things are called, copper long tails fly. We only have to catch six of them, and we're getting some extreme lag because I had to restart the game, which always makes it lag for a while for whatever insane reason. Let's back off a bit, actually. Here we have the extremely high level era. I don't like them. I blocked them as a slayer task, I think. Because they just get on my nerves. They do a lot of damage. Which is, you know, an effect of their level, but... They just don't really feel worth it. They take a long time. I guess maybe if I was using extreme potions and... Holy crap, this lag. I really wish they would fix whatever makes it lag like this when you first load up the game. I don't know what it is. It did finally start playing music. You can see down here I was trying to make it play, but it was not playing any sounds except for the playlist. 
it just had the sound area blank, but now it's playing Jungle Hunt. And it's lagging like crap. It wasn't lagging this bad before I started recording, I think it's because it started playing the music, actually. Level 14, is that the level we need for baby implings, or is that 17? Might be 17. We might get level 17 from the task, if we're lucky. Because we still have five more birds to catch, and then however much experience that gives. As we saw with Herblore in the last episode, I believe. Earlier this week, regardless, we got an insane amount of Herblore levels, and... Um... Hunter is about the same in terms of experience. Now, I don't know if it scales differently at lower levels, but... We could theoretically be getting quite a few levels from this. If we are lucky. Come on, land. Do it. He's doing it. Come on. This lag is just pathetic, really. And I'm on a world with good ping, too, so... I have no idea. And it's not the graphic settings or anything doing this. It does this even at minimum graphics. It's like buffering something in the background that it has to do every single time you play the game. It might be the music. It might be buffering every single song for the areas nearby or something like that. Oh, we used up all my bonus hunter experience apparently. I really wish they would give us an option to like preload a lot of the resources in the game. Like, I know that they do store some stuff locally, but I'd like an option to expand that store to where it, like, stores every song that it runs into or something. And maybe a lot of the different, uh, graphical textures and models and things. It would probably run a lot faster. That would be a nice feature, but I don't think they're ever going to do it. Come on, birds. I only need six of you, and I've got two. So just land. I'll bury these, I guess, while I wait. Chop down a tree. Burn a log. I don't know. Yay, number three. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of an unusual episode. I have no idea how long it will be. Thanks to these daily things and the randomness of the uh, clue scrolls. Which we've never even gotten a clue scroll because I haven't done much fighting since I got my membership. I've been focusing on things like quests and member skills. Haven't gotten around to Slayer all that much. Except for that time I had the daily task for it. Which I really do need to get into Slayer so we can get combat levels. That would be nice. Come on, guys, land. I'll chop down another tree. You guys are causing deforestation by making me wait. There we go, number four. See, that's convincing them, because they need the trees to live. So they're willing to sacrifice themselves for the greater good. That is how I will catch them. Chop. This is basically just trying to keep this from being a complete time waste. Ooh, dang it. I hate you. I hate you. You will die. It's kind of weird that I can't just, like, punch these birds. They're flying where I could reach up and grab them. How was he doing that? He was just hovering there without flapping his wings. I saw that. You defied the laws of physics by standing still in the air without flapping your wings for a few seconds. Doesn't even make sense. He's a mutant. He doesn't even need to flap his wings to fly. He just does it so that he doesn't stand out. He doesn't want anyone to know his secret mutant bird powers. Was this the one I wanted to kill or the other one? But hey, level 15, either way. And we only got to catch one more. Oh, hey, we can catch the butterflies if we had a butterfly net. Or do we have a butterfly net? 
That is a good question. Well, we would need a jar as well, so it doesn't matter if I have the net or not. Dang it. Oh man, I just had an idea. If you don't know the uh, Ninja team, the team that does all these small upgrades and bug fixes to the game lately, that are all really great for the most part, they have this thread where you can give, well, this entire forum section where you can give them ideas, and I just thought of one to give them. And that is to let us put magic watering cans on the uh, tool belt. There we go. Done. Now we can get up here. I will save any other daily challenges for tomorrow, Sunday, because I'm recording this on Saturday. So Sunday is when we will finish things up. Okay. Mostly because I may or may not have time to spend 20 minutes doing stuff before I even get started today. Hey, look at that, level 17. Very nice. Oh, it was just level 17 like I thought. Nice, so we can finally train on baby implings, which are a crappy experience, but hey, may or may not come in handy. Anyway, so where's that book? There it is. So pickpocketing hams is a great way to get easy clue scrolls. And still, it can take quite a while even at high thieving levels, so there is a very good chance that we will be skipping a lot of it. Well, not skipping, but time warping, like 4x or 8x, so that you guys don't have to sit through it. But what am I wearing currently? Good, I've got my Ring of Wealth. That should increase chances of a clue scroll. I hope we can actually do it. I haven't uh, done this in a while, so I don't know if it requires a quest or something. Let's just head down to Lumbridge, and we'll check it out. I think we have the level to do this. Level 19, that should be good enough. I'm pretty sure I remember seeing the message for Ham when we leveled up. We can check. Let's see. Pickpocket. Oh, right. We can only do the female ones. I don't know why they made that distinction, to be honest with you. And it's not even a small distinction. It's a five-level difference. And as far as I know, the rewards are the exact same. It's just it limits who you can pickpocket for no apparent reason. It's very strange. I mean, it could maybe make sense if the female hand members had, like, purses or something. Because you might be less likely to know someone stealing out of your purse than your pockets. But they all wear the same clothes. <laughs> Okay, now I gotta figure out where this place is. That's not good. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the map right now because they have moved things around. Where is it? Is that it? Great. It used to be like right here. I really wish they would get rid of this thing. It is so annoying. What is this? What is that? Why won't it tell me what that is? Um, what does this go to? That goes to the drain or uh, thing. Okay, well this looks like a job for looking things up because there is no obvious answer to this that I can see. Unless it's that random ladder right there, which that's bizarre if that's it. <laughs> Okay, looking things up. RuneScape, Ham Hideout. Seriously though, they are wasting so much valuable space having this giant useless crater here. Seriously need to get rid of it. It's in southern Misthalane. Misthalane? I don't know. Northeast Lumbridge. It's in Lumbridge now? Jeez. I haven't been there since they did the vent, apparently. Where's the entrance? Okay, so it's across the bridge from that furnace area. That's just weird. 
they've moved their operations into the city. Kind of. Not that there's any actual cities in RuneScape, even the largest city has less population than a real life town, pretty much, for the most part. Except maybe the smallest towns in ye olden days. I guess today you can still find towns that have like 10 people, but those are like nearly ghost towns. Anyway, where's the furnace? Is that the furnace right there? So... It, is it the old mine entrance? I guess we can give it a try. It must be. It has a lock. Yeah, this is an annoying thing they do. Okay. Oh, you can't even spam the lock anymore. So annoying. There we go. Climb down. They've graphically updated it as well. Interesting. Can't pickpocket the ham guards. Oh, they got rid of the door that was here. You used to be able to block all the guards with the door. And it was fun. It's dark in here. Okay, we just gotta find a female ham member. There one is. Give me your treasure things. Oh, hey, we got a strange rock, apparently. Anyway, so... Basically, from now on, I'm going to be continuing my commentary, but I don't know if anyone will actually hear it. Because I might end up skipping this all if this ends up taking 20 years. Bowl of queso is a thief. And yet, they never really do anything beyond punching me. Oh, great. I can't tell which one's the male and which one's the female. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Oh, it'll be nicer once I get level 20. Oh, really? Already? Oh. Can I just pickpocket through the door? That'd be nice. No. How do I get out of here? Oh, pick lock. Come on. Oh, good. He just keeps trying. Keep doing it. You can do it. Oh, great. That means that it, uh, it lowered my thieving by one, but it went already went already up. And I said that wrong, but who cares? Okay. Ham member, prepare to be stolen from. Style is very important to these female ham members. That's why they made sure to not wear full, uh, full-sized shirts like the male ones. Other than that, they both wear the same robe. Oh, we got some buttons. We can polish those for, like, five crafting experience. Might be 2.5 with a bonus. I don't know. Where did... Oh, there she is. Just give me a level already, guys. Your experience sucks. See, why can't they just be the same level? It's really annoying. Again! Again. Oh, great. We got kicked out. Yeah, chances are I'm already time warping this. Um, where are we? Where is this? I don't know where this is anymore. Oh, okay. Now I know where it is. I I thought south was that way. But I had my screen the wrong way around. Go, go, go. This might take forever, but we got to do it. Essence impling. Why couldn't it be a baby impling? Okay. Yeah, let's try this again. Do do do. Nice mine entrance. Would be a shame if something were happened to it. Why can't I just destroy the lock? That way they'd never be able to lock it again, and I'd always be able to come in. No issues. Oh well. Glue scroll me. Glue scroll me up. Oh, right. Wearing ham items makes them catch you less, I believe. So we will be doing that. And you also need it for a quest, I believe, unless they've started handing those out as part of the quest. So there's multiple reasons to be thieving from these people. 
these mysterious hand members, which we don't know anything about in this series yet, because we have not done their quest yet. They could be great people for all we know. Or they could be based on certain real world, real world organizations that sometimes overdo things. And by sometimes, I mean a lot. There we go. We're almost at a level. Almost. And that is when things will get a lot less annoying. Because I will no longer have to worry about the clothing of who I'm wearing. I just gotta click and... Well, I'll still have to check for that, but that's a lot easier to tell than looking for a revealing... Stomach Enus. I have no idea. Oh, look at that. Cool stuff. Speak to Sir Kay in Camelot Castle. We can do that. Camelot, here I come. Where are you? Uh, Camelot is next to Catherby. Well, that was unexpectedly easy. That is what I call a victory. Now watch us get a clue scroll we can't finish because you can have that happen especially when you haven't done a lot of quests I think that's a bit unlikely with easy clue scrolls luckily but I guess that's another reason to get it by thieving instead of slayers because with slayer all oh, our onions died poor onions I'm gonna get rid of them I tried to grow onions but it was not to be Really surprising, both died, because I think I used compost and water. I guess my luck was just bad. Let's find Sir Kay, though, here in Camelot. We've never been in Camelot. It's just a place we've skipped so far. And I can toss these hatchets. And this iron dagger, this one too. And this knife. We'll keep the needle, I guess. Nah, we don't need the needle. Why would we? Okay, we gotta find Sir Kay. You are... Oh, you're Sir Kay. Okay. A valiant effort. Search the drawers in the ground floor of a shop in Yanil. Can do. So easy. Don't mind me, just teleporting right in front of you. I'm doing magic. You jealous? Can't do magic, can you? I don't know if he can. For all I know, he could be magic level 99. But I taunted him anyway. Okay, so which shop? It might be this one here. I don't know. Might be that one. I think those are the only two shops, actually, so... Probably a good guess. But I'm pretty sure... I don't know what I'm doing. Drawers! Oh, some lag. There we go, found another clue. Okay, so that is Southeast Varrock. And it has a dig option right on the clue. Easy enough. This song sounds a bit hyperactive. And... You can tell I've done a lot of clue scrolls because I pretty much know where these go. Because I've been working on a clue scroll guide for my orbscape.com for a while. And I'm working on some expansions to it. I'm going to be adding the uh, cryptic clues. Ones that say like, go talk to the guy by the tree that is yellow or something like that. You know, kind of like these, the ones we got where it's like talk to Sir Kay, but where it doesn't actually tell you Sir Kay. It might tell you the knight who is okay or something. So I'm going to be adding that section to my site at some point. Okay, so... Now, oh, a tip is a lot of the digging ones are next to these ferny plants for some reason. So see, I was able to do it without even bothering with those lines they had. Because I just know that it's usually next to a plant. Search the crates in the guardhouse of the northern... Gate and East are down. That's the one near the bank. So yeah, this will be a long episode unless 
Heist is a really quick game. And plus, I'm going to be doing some more daily challenges tomorrow. Probably, probably time warp through those, though, especially the woodcutting one. Okay, so the guardhouse, I think, is this building here, if I remember correctly. And it was looking what? The crates. Okay. I always forget if it's crates or drawers. Here's a crate. The wrong crate. This one? Yes. Dang, this is going on for a while. Okay, so that is another easy one. we got to go up to Sears Village. This one was a very annoying one back before Lodestones. Because Sears Village was kind of out of the way already. And then you had to go even further out of the way. Lodestones have made things so much more convenient. People were complaining about the addition of a lodestone to the elf city, but I don't know why. Like, it's a quest reward. Why would you want to have to spend runes to teleport there every time? When I mean, why would anyone go there, really, when you can just go to the Grand Exchange in Varrock with a quick home teleport? Or any other multitude of free teleports? Relatively free, at least, like the Ring of Wealth. Which, this reminds me, actually, there was a new Vodi thingy. Okay, a 2014 quest will feature the Elder Gods, but which Elder God? Bic. Who is Bic? Hmm, affects the oceans. That sounds actually really interesting if they did, like... I wonder if that would be their excuse to finally add that underwater city they've been mentioning for a long time. The Tsar... Brink of Extinction, not a fan of that. That'll probably be the one that's winning, though. Unless one of these is some great, amazing thing. Affects the dwarfs? I don't know. They have other things they need to do with the dwarfs, I think. A scene-setting quest. Intermediate with Grandmaster Post Quest. That's the one we'd be most likely to do, but I'm most interested in the oceans, actually. Oh wow, that's surprising. I guess it's because of all the people who can't do Grandmaster quests. Well, hopefully they'll see that the ocean is winning. And now, was there a second one that I can do? Ah, how I prefer to get my news. I get all my news off the website. I usually, uh, yeah, just check the website. Sometimes I see the message on Twitter first, but generally, anyway... Enough about that. Let's see. It's I think it's like right here. Going off memory. It might be right there. Yeah, right there. No plant at this one. Oh, the casket. What will we get? Aw, oh, crap. Ceridoman arrows. And some trout. But we got a road trip lamp. And that goes into prayer. Level up. Yep, level 54. Now we can sap mage if you want to do that sort of thing. But anyway, yeah, so I'll sell this stuff, do some daily challenges, and we'll finish up the road trip in the next little section. So yeah, I'll see you then. Hey guys, welcome to Sunday. Today we are finally going to be finishing this dang road trip thing that's been going on forever. But first we're going to sell the items I got from that treasure trail and probably do a daily task because I got an easy one as you can not see because I uh, had the game do a little glitch. Every once in a while the game will do this glitch where the uh, sound keeps repeating like a little noise like a piece of a song like a fraction of a second. And it did that to me when I first logged in, so you can't see it, but we got a cabbage one. I'm going to go ahead and keep one of these arrows, because I can, and they have an actual use. I just do minus 5% for instant selling, because we don't have the time in this series to wait for everything to sell. Keep all this junk. Looks like I got two strange rocks, so we can get rid of those as well. Anyway, here's the book. Let's just go ahead and look at this. Look at that. All but one. Set active. Okay, now. Um, what now? 
Right, I was going to check if I own any cabbage seeds. I do not, so let's really quickly buy them. It should be like 2 GP, hopefully. It's not a particularly high demand item. I think we probably need three of them. I might as well do six, though, just because, geez, that's a bit more than I expected them to cost. But they sell instantly and for cheaper than the asking price, so that's good. Okay, wait, first, first let's go put these rocks in. And then we will uh, plant some cabbages, and then we'll go do heist. From what I can tell, World 2 is the official world for Heist, so I believe that's the world I'm currently on. Well, the unofficial. Did I say official? They don't have an official world for it, weirdly enough. I don't know why. They add a new minigame and don't give it an official world. They should have just, uh... Well, maybe it is one of those games that's on, like, a separate world. I don't know, but... What I saw said that this was the uh, world to do it in, so we'll do it. What rocks are these? I don't remember. We'll find out in a second. Ah, thieving. Cool. Thieving 20. I think I might have forgotten to check my thieving stuff. But I, I don't know if I actually gained a level or not. Now we can pickpocket male ham followers. If we couldn't, then I must not have gained a level, so that's okay. And we can steal from silk stalls as well, so yay. Once we get level 40, things will be interesting. Anyway, let's go ahead and we'll go to Catherby. That's the easiest farm to get to for our purposes, and I already cleared out one spot. Clear out another one from those dead onions. I can plant cabbage, can't I? That's going to suck if I can't. I didn't actually check. I was going to, and then I forgot. I just started recording. Oops. Yeah, that's already grown, so we'll clear out the one that hasn't grown over because that needs done either way so this coming week's update is dungeoneering dungeoneering improvements and stuff so maybe we'll do some dungeoneering I guess we can we even got a free token let's clear out this one and plant the second one I got for no apparent reason not bothering with any uh, compost or watering or anything because yeah these things cost what 6 GP each not a huge deal if they both die. Uh, yeah, Birth Hope. Should hopefully get a level from this. Level 10. That will be nice. Is that our last level below 10? It is. Oh, that's going to be a nice little accomplishment. Oh, I didn't pick up some more. Oh, yeah, this is definitely World 2. I clicked on the right world. That is a lot of people. What's this? Divine Box Trap. What level do you need for that? Like, level 50 Hunter? 53? I was a good a good guess. I know we don't have the level for any of those. That's why I got the assistance on that. Cabbages! Ooh, we definitely got a level. Yes, level 10. And halfway to level 11. Ooh, we can do Perils of Ice Mountain now. Interesting. We can plant red berry bushes and wildergrass. Very nice. Okay, now let's go over to the location of the thing. Heist. Let's. Oh, we got some loading lag here. This world doesn't have the best. Uh, what you might call it? The best. Um. Dang it! I forget the word. Ping. That's it. It doesn't have the best ping for me. It's got something like sixty something when I logged in. When the best worlds typically are more like thirty-ish. I believe. They might go a bit lower than that, but I think the one I normally play on World 79 is in the 30s for me. So we just climb up this ladder. Enter Heist Waiting Room. Okay, we gotta deposit all of our items. That's about the extent I know about this. And... Neutral barrier. What does that mean? Okay. So then we just have to wait for enough people to show up? That's going to be fun. Hopefully there's a current game going on and this minigame isn't this dead in its most common world. Because that would suck. Oh. I don't know which map people like. I'll go for Canifus. 
I guess. Looks like I was the deciding vote on that. Interesting. Or not. How was there four people who weren't me? If there's only four people total. Oh well, I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. I'm a guard. Viewing orb. I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that yeah, I think you're supposed to look for people acting weird and then catch them. But I don't know what happens if you guess wrong. I'm guessing that you're supposed to spot them when they steal stuff, apparently. But an infected creature has spawned. Where? Mutated monk has escaped with loot. He's just gonna stand here, isn't he? Great, so my only partner is just AFKing. Oh, wait, wait, there's... Yeah, my only partner. He's just standing around. This guy's suspicious. Um, what do I lose by accusing this guy? I don't know. Oh, I get three false accusations. Okay. I hope this game doesn't actually take 18 minutes. Did I just see some guy running? Yes. Is that normal for these juvenites? I guess it must be. Yeah, this game sucks, I think, <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing. Does that mean that both robbers have escaped? I don't know, I just accuse random people, I guess. Robbers win in two loot. Oh, they, they like, respawn and get to steal another loot if you don't catch them? Well, I wish I knew where the loot was. Oh, good, whatever, I don't care. Yeah. I guess I lose nothing from just accusing a random person. Hey, look at that! Uh... I actually got someone right, but they still won. Oh well, we finished. I have unlocked the backpack, I have unlocked the cheeky monkey and party hat fire making override. Let's get out of this place. Head up to Edgeville, that will be where we will actually mess with this stuff, figure it out. So yeah, that is the RuneScape road trip. We actually finished this game pretty quickly, I'm surprised. Of course I sucked at it because I'd never played it before and didn't really know how to identify people, but hey, I figured it out. If I had had any idea what I was doing, I might have actually captured that one robber. Anyway, let's toss this into the prayer skill. There we go. Nice. So our end result is level 54 prayer and it's somewhat towards level 55. Not bad. Let's go get our book. I think that's where you get the items from. Okay. Open. All complete. Rewards. Um, how do you get them? Are they in the cosmetic list? Where is that? Where is that? I don't remember. I don't do cosmetic stuff. Skill animations. Party hat fire making. So yeah, you toss party hats into the fire instead of logs. I guess I'll activate that. I don't really care about it. That noise is getting annoying. Anyway, full outfits. Hiker costume. So that's what the hiker costume looks like. And what about pets? Where do you get pets from? I thought they were in the screen. I guess they're over here. 
follower pets. Now we have the cheeky monkey. Call pet. Okay, I called my pets. Yes, I did. Let's get away from that annoying noise. That snake. Okay, well we did it. Mission accomplished. We have a freaking huge monkey. That is a lot bigger than the monkey that they showed in the picture. Do they show the picture in here? No. The monkey in the picture was on the guy's shoulder. Oh, what is this guy talking to me about? Nope. <laughs> okay, let's get away from this guy. So yes, all the uh, annoyance and torture and etc. has paid off because we have a freaking huge monkey and an outfit. I actually kind of do like the outfit. It is pretty nice, and getting that experience was okay. It's just that they could have chose better tasks. But yeah, that's everything. So this has been Bowl of Queso, a.k.a. Kebab799. Thank you for watching me through all these long and tedious episodes of the RuneScape Road Trip. And from now on, we'll be heading back to three episodes a week. But I will start doing the old school 2007 scape on Tuesdays, probably. Or maybe Thursdays. I haven't decided yet. Might be Thursdays, actually. I have no idea. You'll just have to wait and see. I might do it this week. I might do it next week. We'll find out. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Like this video if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you in the next episode.